day two of SEMA. I just spent like the first couple hours at the Garrett booth, meeting all of you guys, doing signatures, giving out shirts and whatnot. Thank you so much to each and every one of you that came. I had a great time. It was cool to see so many of you here. Um, I'm doing the rounds right now, doing a few other like things for other companies that we work with, like Dishworks. But then after that, we're gonna go check out some cars. We're at the Dishworks booth, and uh, we're just looking at some of their new pumps. There's some pretty cool technology in these brushless things, but probably one of the most exciting one is this 415 liter per hour, 40 PSI, in a factory OEM size. This is tiny. Um, so really excited about that. It means you don't have to do any crazy modifications in your OEM hangers. But what's also really cool is they're releasing this product, which is for an S13 or R32 Skyline, and it's a fuel hat design. You can obviously hook up your OEM um, fuel lines as well as AN lines if you want, and it goes down to a nice pump setup. Beautiful. I love that they're making this stuff for like replacement OEM parts because I think from Nissan right now, you can't get this unless you're paying like six to $800. They're gonna be selling this. Uh, they don't have an official price yet, but it's gonna be like, sub $300, $200, which is gonna be awesome. And that's gonna be a game changer for a lot of air chassis guys. And then uh, over here, this is my friend John. He's the guy at Dishwex, he hooks it up. And uh, he was just showing me the new S13 fuel rail kit. So you can switch to the nice top mount 14 mils. Because let's be honest, boys, no one should be running side feeds anymore. I mean, we if you have them. to, if yeah, you have to, then you, you can get yeah. them. Yeah. But, but this we, will be cheaper. It'll like, be cheaper in the, the long run. And the top feed injector. And we would all prefer that people just run the 14 mil top mounts. They just look nicer. And they perform so much nicer as well. But yeah, otherwise, you guys know we love Dishworks products. You know I love all their fittings. Seriously, some of the best stuff that I've put on my car. As always, John, thank you so much. Yes, sir. I'm going to start checking out some more boosts. Sounds Champion good. man. Keep an eye out for a new product video from me as well on their channel. See you guys. So this is probably one of the coolest F40s I've ever seen. And yes, it's because it's pink. So I can't remember, it's rose something, I believe, this color. This is absolutely beautiful. Like I've, I've only ever like dreamed of owning an F40 that was either white or red, but maybe. Dude, it would be such a statement if you got an F40 and painted it like Yashio Factory pink. This is wild. Dude, the wing is so classic. This is why I love the R34 Skyline that had the, the like shopping trolley wing because it really resembles the F40 and this looks amazing. Definitely inspiration I feel that for the R34 Nismo wing came from that. Just like looking over the car is so cool. The massive wastegate down there. Oh, one day, one day. I keep telling myself one day I want something like this. It's gotta happen. It's wild. I'm so glad I got to see this car. So wild. found my dad you went <laughs> you went to get the milk and, yeah. and now he's here i promised i was coming back i swear to you son i was coming back <laughs> all right all jokes aside rotary daddy this is rob dom um i've been wanting to chat, hang out with this guy for such a long time but dude your car's here yes. they said it wouldn't happen they said it was impossible and you were crazy yeah if yeah. you all remember that like the online like dude it was yeah. insane it, was, it wasn't happening it, it wasn't was happening. Not gonna happen and you know, here I have uh, a bone stock FDR X7. <laughs> it's not even the real car, guys. <laughs> yeah. Actually, what's funny is it is the car that it was. It's the color of the car when I bought this thing when it was bone stock oh. when I was 18. So this and is special to you then yes. that it's back this like Yes, Montego Blue. It's a polarizing co color. People, some people hate it. A lot of people love it. I love it. And so I was like, you know what? This is what I was thinking of when I drove the FD for the first time. I was like, this is what I think it's like. It, the ultimate rotary engine vehicle so that's that's what i set out to build if i'm gonna be a rotary guy on youtube i gotta have the bad baddest rotary possible and i think you win that for sure <laughs> like this thing is so wild i always forget sometimes like this is all-wheel drive yeah. and like completely custom with a gtr like uh, transfer case and all that yeah so that's what's wild for me is this is the first time seeing it even with the hood fully on mm. uh, ever and so the problem is i actually we actually went out and bought a cane to open the hood because people have been coming up and saying well hey well, that, that car's awesome. Oh, Bob. it doesn't have a latch. Where's the four rotor? <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't done the latch yet. But yeah, so this is what people know is yeah. the, the drivetrain. And this is what I love. It's like this massive bazooka 
you know, four rotor, the biggest turbo Garrett makes, all wheel drive system. I mean, it's, it's the list of what I've done to this car and what depraved things I've had to do to get this car running uh, yeah. is very long. I'm sure like any car person could literally just stand and look at this engine bay and move around, look at every intricate detail and just scratch their head thinking about how you like yeah. accomplish this. Yeah, like, I mean, you could go from like the wiring harness, which I did, yeah. and it's all sealed. And Which, then, by the way, kudos to you because I ain't got the time in the world to do the the amount of intricate detail on that wiring. My house. secret is just desperation. Desperation. Yeah, that's, that's what. <laughs> no one else can do it the way yeah, I want yeah, to, yeah, so I'll I learn how to do it. it. Yeah. And I, I said I'd be at that event tomorrow. Um, and so, yeah, you, you take that all the drive by wire, yeah. all of Isaiah's uh, titanium welding. Yeah. You know the, all those the inboard suspension, the uh, carbon drive shafts. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Mind you, look how close that drive shaft is to that bully. Yeah. It may it, not look like it's that close on camera, but that's like, what, is. not even a centimeter? That's yeah, 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 it's very close. And especially when the car's turning, the drive shaft moves a little bit. Oh, there's no yeah. half shaft. So, so that's one of the many things that we have to improve on. Um, you know, I'm always trying to improve it because it's, it's like, it requires a team of people to build this car. Yeah. And we're, we're only two people. I love that it has your name on the... Yeah, the, the, the alternator. Alter, the alternator guys were like, they did that as like a bonus. They found my logo and they, they added That's that sick. Me. Yeah. Man, but, this car is so wild. The yeah. diff, like, the turbo is bigger than the diff guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so um, we, this is very exciting for us because we actually have uh, Turbo Smart's straight gate. And so we've had some, oh, yeah. we were like the, one of the first uh, YouTubers to do the electronic wastegate. And that was painful because the software wasn't there to control mm. it yet. And so now software's there. And now we're going to use the straight gate, which is a new product. Uh, and so I'm very excited to see what I can do on, uh, you know, controlling the car yeah. that way. But and you're like all self-taught with tuning and all that kind of stuff, right? Honestly, yeah. The only thing that's helped me um, is HP Academy. Oh yeah. Honestly, that's a yeah. Huge I have a membership for them too. Okay, I love yeah. it. It's great. Yeah. So tuning that because I was like, shit, somebody's got to tune this car. It's got to be me because I don't. I don't ever want to be like a track. And be like, oh, uh, I need a tune update. And so you gotta call your friend. Yeah. He's busy. And he's trying to remote in. You don't know, Yeah. I was like, I need to be able to work on this car and have nobody holding it over me. No locked maps. Yeah. 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 Another good thing is, too, is there's no one else to blame but yourself. Yes. <laughs> yes. Unless it's something I want to blame somebody, on somebody else, I, yeah. I'm stuck blaming myself. Yeah. But yeah, that's the end, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, this car wouldn't have ran if I didn't do that. And if it mm. does blow up, well, it's still me. It's still, I still did it. I take that responsibility. And even the body. Yeah. Like the, what I wanted, this design is, is, is functional. Yeah. And it was what I wanted to cover such an amazing engine. I have to say, keeping the pop-ups must have been a challenge. Yes. Like, it, so we added extra material on the pop-up covers because the stock car starts to curve here. Oh, yeah. It didn't, it didn't look right. So, so you had to make it like kind of level out. Yeah, more leveled out. And wow. we carried out kind of like a uh, 90s IMSA kind of yep. taller, you know, even even the what is it, 300 GT, I forget what the car is from mm. uh, Pan Speed and those guys where the hood is raised. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's raised for the wheel to, to suck up in there suck more. Suck up more, yeah. Because yeah. to make these cars look super low, right, like that's a lot of fender, like yeah. it's got to go in. Yeah, and I, my goal is to have it where it, it has three inches of, of shock and three inches of rebound. So uh, it's yeah. not just really short suspension travel. Does and it work differently because of the, the style of suspension you're using with the cross arms and stuff? Like, it, is it uh, harder to figure that out? Very, because yeah. it's so custom that, you know, normally, like, like for example, I have my rotary Corvette yep. C5, and that platform, tons of engineers built that platform, mm. so it's it's pretty solid. Yeah. This car, I made a couple of very simple mistakes because I don't have an engineering degree in, in suspension, and like, as I turn, for example, yep. uh, I learned at Grid Life, as I turn, my shock actually gets softer because of the angles. So, oh yeah. So I had it starting at 90 degrees, and as I turn, it actually pushes the shock down, and so you know, it, it's a percentage of the the spring rate. So if you watch the car at the events, it actually goes softer and softer. And that's a simple, wow, that's simple, interesting. simple angle mistake. Yeah. And so like, you just have to deep dive into so many different things to build a car like Does this. your brain ever feel like it's like just overloaded? Well, just like you know, like if you're doing something yeah. and also filming, your yeah. brain slams from yeah. being a, a YouTuber to doing drifting or doing yeah. you know, building. And you're just like, I have to entertain and, and make this interesting, yeah. but also do it. Yeah. And so that, that's, you know that just as well yeah, as yeah, how yeah. hard that is. I mean, I bet you're, I bet you're really like uh, blessed to have yes. Isaiah to help yes. you out with all the fab work so you don't have to focus on that. Because I'm sure you love welding, you'd love to do that, but you uh -huh. just don't have the time, right? I don't have the time. And you know, Isaiah makes a great uh, person that we have to edit a lot of his things <laughs> he says, because he's just, he's the, the out there guy. And so it's Super fun because I, yeah. I get to be the serious, like, 
you know, like crazy guy. Yeah. But Isaiah is a wild guy. Yeah. So it's just it's just a, good, a great balance. Great it, balance. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it nah. wouldn't have been here without him. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Dude, I love this thing to pieces. I hope someday you make it a little safer in there so I can go for a <laughs> yeah. ride with you. Okay, I am fair. a little concerned about the spinning prop shaft I, there. I would be. Yeah. Everybody's like <laughs> worried for me as the driver. But yeah. The, but yeah, the, the shaft is on the passenger side. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. Dude, I can't imagine like. Let's have a quick look inside real yeah. quick because like some people don't really like see all of this. I'll let you open it. Yeah. I don't want to touch this thing. Yeah. I don't want to be responsible for breaking a single yeah. thing on this car. Yes. Yeah. So. This is that's the transfer case right there. Yeah, yeah the only thing that's covering it is the car cover. Yeah. <laughs> oh you put a cover yeah, here. We did, we did. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the, the, the drive shaft, shaft right yep. there. This is wild. Oh, you got a hydra and you can drift it. Yes. Yeah, actually, it's cool because like on the Hunicorn, which this car takes a lot of inspiration yeah. from, the Hunicorn, when you pull the hydro, it disconnects the rear drive shaft. So I'm, I actually have that ah. in order because it's weird because if you pull the hydro on, on all-wheel drive, yeah. it still stops. The, re the rears and the fronts are now connected to the drivetrain, so you're actually still pulling the brakes so the car just slows down. Yeah, because normally you have to put your foot in the clutch when you pull it, yeah, right? But yeah. You, yeah, but even with the clutch in, the all the drive system is still working. So right. when you pull the rear brakes, the front brakes technically it stops the front tires too. And oh. so I, I went to do a, a drift in my parking lot, pulled it, and all the, the car did was stop. Stop. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> Oh, that's what it is. That's interesting. Yeah, I never thought about that. So um, I'm still new to all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive stuff, right? Yes, and I yeah. bought the coolest all-wheel drive K-Van in Japan, right? Oh, Suzuki Every, yeah. all-wheel drive, three-cylinder, cranked the boost up on it. It was great. So to pass the shuck end registration thing, they said that the rear tires needed to be like the heavyweight ones because it's a van and if it's fully loaded. And I was like just trying to pass. So I put bigger tires on the back, not thinking, stopping and thinking for a second. The all -wheel drive it's gone. It's gone. Oh. Like I blew the whole thing up. Oh. And it was just like a quick drive to the inspection place and back and yeah. bang. Yeah, I had, I had drag tires on the rear and I had normal tires on the front and yeah. they were an inch different in diameter Ooh. and I di I, dis I turned off my all-wheel drive system. Oh, okay, yeah. So I could let that happen. But, yeah. But yeah, it would have no. been bad. I wish, <laughs> I wish I was luckier, but yeah. yeah. Learn things the hard way sometimes. Yep. But the, the frustrating thing is like, I knew it. Yep. It was just I never stopped and thought about it for a second. Right, right. It's, you, know, you know how it is. Yeah. I got to get a video out. I yep. got to keep the story going yep. and then I'm going to break stuff, don't I? But yep. that's kind of also the fun. It, it was content at the end of the day yes. too. So yeah. it does work out. But Rob, I'm really excited. Yeah, great. We got to hang out. And, and I got the car out in uh, Japan that I'm supposed to unveil at some point. So I'll have to Ooh. come out and visit you. That's going to be definitely awesome. Bring yeah. it to the shop. You can put it on the hoist, do yes. an inspection, all that uh, kind of stuff. For yeah. sure. All right, Rob. Okay. Thank you, man. Yep. Before we met the Rotary Daddy, and then someone just gave me this. We just met the GDR Daddy. What's up, man? There is a D in there somewhere, apparently. <laughs> GDR. It's a GDR, mate. GDR. Crikey, look at that GDR. Um, that's apparently how I talk. Um, that's how we both talk. Yeah, yeah. Everyone apparently. makes fun of me all the time. It's when I go okay. visit the boys Deal in, with it. in the US, <laughs> they're always like, GDR. GDR, mate. It's so good. Yeah, that, that's all anyone's talking to me about the last yeah. two days. Well, yeah. well, you are the GDR Daddy. Like, that's literally it. Like, I've, not really something I sort of think or say, but it's, it's, I don't know, a lot of people keep sort of bringing it up. So. We were talking before, and I love what he said, because like people have come up to him and said, you're the YouTuber that YouTubers watch. <laughs> so like all of us, when we want to build a GTR and we want it to be like good and proper and like no misinformation, we look up this guy's channel. I must admit, it's, I didn't like set out to sort of specifically that to happen. I just mm. really enjoy building cars and educating enthusiasts. Yep. And just how to do it right with and but backing it up. I don't just want to go, oh dude, this is good. Yeah. I wanna go, no, we tested this and we did this, here's our results, here's yeah. how you do it, and this is the theory. Why? So when someone watches it, they completely understand the theory behind it, yeah. what it is, why it yeah. works, and then proved it worked, and then no one can argue. Yeah. You can't yeah. argue with data, right? Yeah. So I've just always done that and enjoyed it from an engineering background, and then obviously other YouTubers don't want to watch I guess vlogs, right? Like yeah. They actually get on there to learn. And well, we've like, got to entertain people. Yeah, you're right? entertaining people. You're, <laughs> you're, you're teaching people, teaching, right? Yeah. You're teaching, and it's it's great because like like being an Australian, and when I was young, and I'm not trying to call you old here, but oh, like when I was younger, like way younger, <laughs> and I was getting into Skylines, I used to like watch your 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 well VHSs. Yeah. Back Ignition in the day. Ignition DVD. Do you right? Day, DVDs, right? like all that kind of stuff, and it was just crazy because like the old Tokyo, uh, not Tokyo, it's not Australia's auto salon yeah, yeah. and stuff. Like it was just really cool. Uh, like growing up with that and seeing that and then now like we're here at SEMA together in the You're States. You're making me get like all teary and emotional. I'm sorry bro, <laughs> I'm sorry. But you, you've like inspired me. Like I, I haven't been able to dive into GTRs and RBs as much as I want to. They're definitely like a special thing in my heart. Because I'm Australian, right? RB30s for life. Um, but like, just like, 
you know, now I feel like I'm starting to come out of, you know, growing up out of the SRs. <laughs> coming out of your shell. Yeah, coming out of my shell. I still love SR20s though. I still have one. We, we had a good a talk about one, SRs before. Like a good one. So. They really are the glass engine that Nissan made, but if you get it right. I know how to get it right. You, you know how to get it right. Get it right. <laughs> so all you people that don't like SRs. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't built one properly. You haven't done it with us, alright? <laughs> love it. Alright, dude. Um, in the future, we're going to do cool stuff. He's going to come hang out in Japan. I'm going to come to Japan. I'm going to go drifting together. We're going to do it. I'm going to. I've been drifting in a while. Let's do it. Uh, I, I, I reckon if I blow the cobwebs out, I'll still be okay. You can give me some lessons. Though. I'll teach you. I bet you teach me to be a better drifter. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, we're doing that. Done. Sweet. See you. this was gonna happen but they're filming for F1 right now right below us you can hear the car running right now just wait for him to take off oh look at all that damn that was so cool looks like they're going again boys This is a new experience. Um, this is a, a daiquiri. Baja Blast. Baja, huh? Blast. Baja Blast daiquiri. By the way, you don't know what a daiquiri is. Alcohol. There is alcohol. It's an alcohol. <laughs> Wait, at least you don't call it a daiquiri. Have you tried one of these? Ain't that your oh, No, I haven't. I, okay, I, I know what a daiquiri is. Okay. There we go. Are you serious? You think a daiquiri is called daiquiris? <laughs> sells daiquiris in uh, Vegas, so that's new. Are you, you going to tell them that you had two shots or three shots? I had two in mine, you had three. You're manlier than me. Look look at the color difference, look at the feel of it. Wild. We're literally just on the main strip and we're going to go to an after party after this, so I don't know what's going to happen, but things are going to get good. What is this? I have no clue. Mate, that is a knife. Oh, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Calm down. What? <laughs> There's freaking fireworks. What? <laughs> I'm scared you're either going to cut someone or you're going to burn the police down. I, I win either way. Okay. Don't use them let him in public. All right, all right. It's a special occasion. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'll blur his face out in the vlog. <laughs> Americans aren't real. Americans aren't real. Okay, yeah. It's currently one o'clock in the morning and Vegas is still very much alive. This place absolutely blows my mind. I am having such a good time meeting so many people that I've talked online with and just being able to see them in person and put a face to their name and stuff. It's been so good. I've made so many new friends. I'm losing my voice because I've been like yelling and stuff over music and whatnot. But like tonight's been amazing. Yesterday was amazing. And we still have, <clears throat> what's today, Thursday? I think we still got like three or four days left. This has been such a great experience and uh, I'm definitely enjoying it. Gonna keep trying with the daily vlogs guys. I hope you enjoy this one. Do me a solid though, smash that like button, write me a comment and definitely hit that subscribe button. I know 60% of you guys watching haven't subscribed yet. So make sure you do that and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, Jamata. I still love SR20s though. I still have one. We, we had a good a talk about one, SRs before. Like a good one. So. They really are the glass engine that Nissan made, but if you get it right. I know how to get it right. You, you know get how to it get right. it right. Yeah, we're good. So all you people that don't like SRs. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs>